<sighs> Good morning, guys. It actually wasn't bad sleeping in here. <laughs> I'm currently attempting to hide from my brother for 100 hours using only homemade stealth shelters. Yesterday, I got an Uber ride, and the driver leaked some information that Chris is using Teslas to try to spot me on its cameras. It's now day two, and the circle's about to shrink. I'm feeling good, but I have to move. The circle updates at 8 a.m. every morning. And I've got about five minutes, and the thing is, I don't know how long it's gonna give me to get to the new circle, so I should probably get everything packed up. This bunker, honestly, was not too bad. It was kind of comfortable and warm. I got a little cold, so I'm a little worried about my future nights being cold. For me to get into the circle, I gotta be at Walgreens in the next hour. Oh, okay, let's do this. Good morning guys, today I already checked one of the Teslas, I didn't have enough time to check both. I also went to Walmart to quickly see if there were any signs of Jeff. The circle is shrinking in a couple minutes, so I'm quickly scouting the surrounding areas, and then I'm gonna go check on the second Tesla at Walgreens to see if it caught Jeff on the sentry cam. Okay, time to check Tesla number two. One key thing this whole challenge is stuff organization. Learn that the hard way. Another key thing are fake mustaches. We're gonna try this one on for size real quick. Looking good. By the way, I, I do have a taser for self-protection. Maybe I can taste Chris. I've got 12 minutes to get to Walgreens, which I only need about two minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and just wobble on over there. And I hope Chris doesn't spot me. So there's four events on the sentry mode. Guys, I just spotted Chris. He's in the Walgreens parking lot. I don't know if he's on me. I'm gonna hide my bag so I can run quicker if we get into a foot chase. I'm also standing outside the circle. Come on! Okay, I have two minutes and eight seconds. I gotta get into the circle. So I don't know if this is a glitch, but I just saw a bar that said Jeff's location incoming in three minutes on the app. And what that means is that he's out of the green circle. So in less than a minute, Jeff's location could get to me if he's out of the circle right now. If this shows me where he is, dude, this saves so much investigating because I had no luck with the Tesla so far. My bag is outside the circle. If I want to go back and get it, I have to breach the circle. Oh no! He's out of the car. Got a lot of action last night. I think I'm gonna have to take this footage and put it on a computer somewhere. I'm going this way. I don't see him following me. Oh, I see him. Guys, I think he's in that car. He's in that car. That's Chris. Oh my gosh. My bag is outside the circle, guys. I decided to leave Walgreens and start my day search in the wash. Hopefully, I can find a lead. I feel like once I just spot Jeff, that narrows down the map so much. I really need to make that my focus. So I found something interesting. We've got what looks like the beginning pieces of a lean-to right there. But on further investigation, you can see that these aren't newly placed. So this has been here for a while, so I don't think that's Jeff's. Right now I'm only out here because of a hunch. This is the hardest part. So I've devised a plan. I don't know what happens if I breach the circle. My guess is that's gonna like show Chris where I am while I'm outside the circle. And so what I need to do is order an Uber and then right before the Uber gets here, go grab my bag and then run to where the Uber is gonna pick me up, drive somewhere. So let's do it. I'm officially Outside of the circle, there's my bag. I don't know how to do this thing. <laughs> I just got dropped off by my Uber. I'm near my stealth shelter, and since my bag is really heavy, I'm stashing it in a bush in case I get into a foot race with Chris. Now that my bags are hidden, I'm gonna head over to the stealth shelter that I planted yesterday, see if it's still there. It probably will be. Yeah. Ow! Almost fell. So yeah, let's do it. Guys, why do I do this to myself? I run all the way down the road and then I run back all for the cinematic shots. I need to get into fitness more and more. Two, three, four. Only, only four. Very impressive amount of push-ups. All right, moment of truth, guys. Let's see if the stealth shelter is where I put it. Yesterday, I built my shelter for tonight because I was worried Home Depot wouldn't be in today's circle. I was right, so moving forward, I'm gonna have to be thrifty. There it is, guys. I feel like this thing looks good, bro. So let me show you guys where I wanna hide it. 
Okay, we just parked this Tesla here. It's now back in the circle. There's Albertsons right there. Uh, if Jeff is in the area, it's very likely that he'll go there to get some food. And the wash area is right there. So he'll come path of least resistance, walk in front of my Tesla, and then go to Albertsons. And he'll have no idea that I got footage of him. So that's the plan. Oh, frick, I just saw Chris again. Oh, frick, dude. Oh, frick. Oh my gosh, he's popping up everywhere. That's Chris, dude. He has no idea I'm right here, dude. <laughs> I just dodged a bullet again. I started running towards him. That happened this morning. Dude. Dude. I need to be more careful, dude. It's been 30 hours since I started searching for Jeff, and I have zero leads. There are two things that are frustrating about this challenge. One, I could be searching on the wrong side of the circle, or two, I could be close to Jeff and not even know it. Now that I know Chris is in the area, I decided to lay low and disappear for the rest of the day. <laughs> that probably looked terrifying. My back was really hurting me, so I used the time to relax and stretch my back. It is key for me to stay in tip-top shape so I can evade Chris. So I've had some time to think and uh, I wanted to kind of make a budget because I only have $45 left for the remainder of the challenge and so I calculated out if I, you know, I'll have my Encrustables for breakfast but if I do lunch and dinners, if I keep under $5 for each one, I should be okay to make it to Friday. But yeah, as far as today goes, I have everything I need so I'm just, I'm just kind of hanging out. Okay, so I'm, <laughs> I'm testing this night vision out. You can see really well. But the problem is it's such tunnel vision. I can't like see where I'm stepping, dude. I'm gonna trip. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to use my flashlight. And if I think that I'm close to Jeff, then I could use this. I really don't think this is gonna be helpful. One problem after another. It's okay, we'll figure it out. Fresh food, fast. Just how I like it. All right, here we go. Some cheap stuff. I can have lunch and dinner once a day for the rest of the video, so long as it doesn't exceed $6. Dude, I overcooked this thing. Oh, well, wrinkly. I feel like this gas station slash Albertsons area is very strategic for me. If I was Chris, I have my eyes peeled on this area, but I've been hanging around here all day. I've been fine. Have a good night. Let me know if you see my brother, okay? Thanks. He's like, what the heck? <laughs> all right, time to jog. That's where my self shelter is going. Right behind there. Dude, I've been searching out here for like 45 minutes in the dark. It is so hard to see anything. I don't know how much luck I'm gonna have. All right, well, I'll be back later. Okay, I just did the hardest part, getting that fat box to a spot. I, I found a gap in the cars and I just did it, so. That's Chris. That's Chris. All I gotta do is get my bed supplies, have myself in there, and we're good to go. I'm in my box. <laughs> I'll admit, it's not the most practical thing ever. I gotta figure out how to get this thing under me, this pad. But once I get in here, I think I'll be comfy. You can even see out of this little peephole. <laughs> Hey everybody, update. I found three bunnies and zero Jeffs. I'd say I'm, I'm doing pretty well. I guess this is where I'm camping out tonight, guys. This is not a joke, guys. I'm actually sleeping in this box. I'm honestly not worried about Chris. There's no way he's gonna find me. So, kidding. I've walked up and down that wash so many times the past two days, and I'm not gonna do it anymore because I'm activating phase three. This is gonna help me cover so much more ground, but that's not the only part of phase three. Tomorrow, I'm gonna see if Jeff has used his credit card. And if it has, it's gonna give me a lot of information. And then if that doesn't work tomorrow, that is gonna find Jeff. I'm not worried yet. I think it's gonna be pretty easy to find Jeff with this. Plus the circle is gonna be shrinking a lot in the next couple of days. So it's getting easier and easier for me and harder and harder for Jeff. I'm gonna go to sleep and uh, begin the search again tomorrow. 